Alright, what we have is EJF Super Sniper 90. And what I have in here is a new 1515 3D motor with a Castle Creation 110 motor. I've set the EC here hoping that the cooling from the fan will push enough air to keep it cool. Uh, inside there, there's, there's room if I cut, but I'm just going to try this method here. What I'm going to test today here is this motor in ESC on 9 cells. But when I actually fly the plane, I'm going to test it on 8 cells. I'll run two Thunder Power 3850 packs in series to get 8 cells. But I want to see how much thrust and watts I'm getting with this setup as it is right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and run a test. So, on our tests with nine cells, sorry for the bluer here, so on our tests with nine cells we got 24-28 these are not fresh packs I just pulled them right off the shelf they had previously been charged but that's pretty good for uh, nine cells looks like we got 24 28 almost 2500 watts Let's see what our amp draw is here eighty one amps not bad at all I probably can get away with a eighty five amp high voltage CC right now I'm using the capsule creation 110 so I'll see what the difference is on eight cells we'll just be losing one cell which is 2500 watts is more than enough to push this jet so let me go and buy a couple 3854 cells and those are only 25 C packs which I'm satisfied with so let's run over to the hobby shop and grab a couple four cell packs and again this is where I will leave the speed control I will run this wire back inside like I did with the throttle control I also have captors right here with a Dean's plug because I will be running a wire up probably about not quite three feet but it'll be close enough to where 
better keep my juice running through there. Also here on the jet. I've changed out my wing nuts to Allen screws with tree hooks inside. I have some pictures I will be showing. And this is the EJF Super Sniper 90.